Are Three, we streaming already? Two, yeah. One. Streaming. Oh, hi everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Hello everyone, and welcome to episode nine of Tones and Toils. I'm your host, Bunsen Gyro. <laughs> Are we gonna keep that? Sure. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> right. With me today, I have Chev, TJ, and Rainbow. Chev, what's up, TJ? Hello! And Rainbow. Howdy, partner! Yeehaw! <laughs> Alright, when we last left off, <laughs> the party was fighting their first boss, Narsica. A, uh, some sort of, uh, some sort of warforged on stage with a bunch of her, excuse me, cosmic guardian, or cosmic goblin minions in the crowd. Nice. And then it was uh, shenanigans to turn, I believe. Or uh, Wednesday, I mean. Yes. And also, there's apparently a baby on the stage now. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'll mute you. <laughs> baby, quiet. <laughs> so, also, when we last left off, uh, Gimna is in the middle of her rage, and the rage effect has plants growing all around her. Those yes. plants are on fire constantly because someone set them on fire. <laughs> Seemed like a good idea at the time. <laughs> All right. So, anything else going on? Anything else to address? I don't think so. Hello? Oh, it's just the bot. It's all good. Are we waiting on somebody? Yeah, we're waiting on Rainbow. It's his turn in combat, and he's completely blanked out. I thought, I thought we were uh, doing the, the wrap-up of what happened at last. No, 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 no. The, we, the wrap-up's already happened. We're fighting this okay. uh, war-forged person. So Narsica. if you want to hit her or something like that, now would be the time to start saying stuff. <laughs> well, uh, I wouldn't be so hasty, because Wednesday's on 1 HP right now. Oh, that, you, or, or if you want to run, now would also be the time to start saying stuff. Oh, she's way ahead of you. She's already across the entire arena, if you haven't noticed. Coward. <laughs> you just suggested she run! I didn't think she was going to do it. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, without further ado, Wednesday, you're up. Uh, what am I again? Am I, I'm a, I'm a uh, cave slime, right? Yes. Yeah. I'm going to start walking up the wall and getting as high as, as possible. Um, okay. <laughs> I'm not sure what that accomplishes, but okay. Uh, you climb up and you start walking on the, on the screen against the wall, the magical screen that's showing another view angle of what's happening on the stage. <clears throat> uh, yeah, I'm going to get as far up there as I can. All right, you go 30 feet up the wall, unless you want to use dash action. Yeah, I'll use dash to get even further. Okay. You are now 60 feet up on the wall. Damn, that's a huge wall. It's a stage. I'm going uh, to uh, light up the scar and start thinking about climbing higher while uh, I wait for the others to do their turn. That ends my turn. <laughs> yeah, you're also... Uh... You're actually above the screen, and you're almost at the ceiling, in fact. Oh, nice. Maybe I might find something to hide in, in the, on the ceiling. Uh, you're still <laughs> definitely in sight of Narsica, unfortunately. You are just, uh... Damn you for making me have to do fucking trip and how tree. <laughs> <laughs> Figure out the distance. You're 60 feet away laterally, and 60 feet in the air. So that's a right triangle, conveniently. So 60 times the square root of 2. You are about 85 feet away from Narsica. Oh, nice. Thank you, trigonometry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, is that, that the end of your turn? Yep. All right. Up next, we got Narsica. Let me... uh. Pull up my notes again. All right. So, Narsica is 
is uh, currently floating 10 feet above the burning plants on the ground. She is going to move this way. One, two, three, four, five, six. Just floating through the air. In fact, she's actually going to be over here. And uh, she's not very comfortable <laughs> being on top of burning plants, wouldn't you know? So she, she has moved out of the range. And uh, let's see. She is going to attempt. She's going to start singing a song. And by the way, uh, is there supposed to be boss music playing in the bot? Uh, I forgot. What I just we noticed. Were <laughs> 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 Sorry, there I just got go. slid by the absolute silence. Like, wait a minute, why'd you get the bot in here? <laughs> just keep going, or I'll figure it out. Okay, okay. So, Narsika is going to start singing a lovely song filled with rhyming and rhythm. That I do not, I'm not able to sing. <laughs> and uh, everyone make a wisdom saving throw. Wisdom saving throw. Let's see. That's two, so 21. Okay. So this is going to be plus three. Oh, bitchin'! <laughs> nice. Uh, you rolled twice. For some oh, reason. Uh, I'd oh. imagine that either of them work. Yeah. So, uh, you two, uh, you, you two, uh, Gimna and the baby. <laughs> Gimna and PJ, you are not affected at all by the song. However, you Wednesday, you uh, you immediately feel you're entering into a translate translate state, and you are now charmed. Now what? Charmed. Wednesday is. Okay. What was that? I I heard uh oh, but that yeah. was all yeah, I heard. Yeah, it was an uh oh because she's charmed. Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So, for reference, oops. Just gonna pull up what charm does for you guys. All right. So, a charmed creature can't attack the charmer or target the charmer with harmful abilities or magical effects. The charmer has an advantage on any ability check to interact socially with the creature, which is kind of unlikely to be relevant right now. <laughs> But doesn't the charm stop as soon as the charmer attacks the uh, charmed or one of their uh, allies? Uh, it doesn't say. Uh, I mean, that's what I've always uh, understood. That is a fair understanding, though, for sure. Anyway, uh, lastly, she is going to attempt to spark Calypso again. All right. That is a three, and it totally fails. All <laughs> right. She, just, she totally whiffs and just sparks past you, shooting over, shooting over there. And with uh, a vicious mockery, Calypso retorts, "You missed me, bitch." Is this the first action <laughs> you're taking? Yeah. All right. Go ahead and. Uh, no, roll. you have to uh, roll fourteen to save. Ah. Uh, roll of what? Uh, wisdom. Wisdom? Okay. Yep. That is a 20. <laughs> <laughs> so what happens okay. now? Uh, so, I mean, you saved, and I am going to run my full speed. What is each of these squares a uh, five? Yeah. Yes. <clears throat> so one, two, three, four, five, six... Just to be clear, nothing happens if she succeeded to save. Yeah, yeah. Uh, if she, if she succeeds to save, then uh, nothing happens. If she would have failed, she would have taken one uh, d four psychic damage and have disadvantage on the next attack roll that she makes. Gotcha. 
So, yeah, uh, right now, as you can see, my uh, save threshold is a little bit low, but, uh, I mean, you rolled a 20, it doesn't, or I guess you rolled a 16, so it does matter, but anyhow. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to run there, and uh, I'm going to uh, look to the crowd and say, my gosh, she sucks! <laughs> Make a performance Can't spark check. the broad side of a bird! <laughs> All right. <laughs> Seven plus, I think I, my modifier is eight, so that's 15. Oh, okay. <laughs> you know, the crowd hasn't really been a fan of you, have they? 15 However, is like, oh, okay, I was about to say, go ahead. <laughs> However, something you said this time finally struck a chord with the crowd, and they start they start cheering and giving some booze to Nurska, who seems a little wounded considering these are her own minions. <laughs> in the cheering, someone in the crowd throws you a lesser healing potion. Uh, <laughs> they're, cheer they're cheering or booing Nurska? Uh, cheering and booing at Nurska in particular. Oh. Okay, both then. Hey! Cool. That's the end of my uh, turn. All right. Make sure you add to your notes that you have received a lesser healing potion. Oh, yeah. Adding that right now. Trust me. You needn't worry. Uh, Actually, it's just regular healing potion. Potion of healing. Oh, cool. I'll take it. All right. Cool. Yeah, that's the end of my turn. I don't have any, uh, anything else I can do. Okay. Yep, no, you're up. All right, so this little bitch is going to try to run away from me, so um, Gimna is going to charge at her. She, she's going to say, get on, she get, is, get on back here. What? She is uh, floating 10 feet in the air at the moment. Yes, so I'm going to charge forward, and then I'm going to throw my last javelin up into the air. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I love the charge. All right, where do you charge? charge? So I'm going to charge to, oops, I won the wrong tool. Uh, up to here and throw it upward. Okay. And that was a 25 to hit. Okay, that hits. Uh, <laughs> go ahead and roll damage. Uh, hit her in the butt. D6 plus 4. Alright, so 6 damage. Okay. How much damage can this wench take? And does she fall right. from that? Uh, she makes a constitution save you throw. Okay. Yes, <laughs> she does save the. She does not fall from the sky. She manages to, or the. the, the, the let me slow down for a sec. The javelin manages to hit her square on the forearm, and it glances off. And she does definitely seem wounded from the impact, but she actually just floats five feet higher <laughs> from the impact. I was about to say, like, if she rolls a nat twenty, does she do like a little flourish, flip, or spin? Is she? Uh... Well, well, uh, take crit, the impact. Crits are in a thing with saving throws. Oh, okay. I mean, she's stylish about it. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. I just I was she asking Peter's question. After all. Dude. <laughs> okay. Uh, any um, other I think that's all I can do for now. I need to. Is that my third or my fourth javelin? I think it was my fourth. Yeah, it I very well might be. Yes. Okay, then I am out of javelins. Can I look around and see if I can see any um, jav of my javelins around that I could uh, collect? I know I threw one of them uh, over this way in the beginning. Yes. Uh, one of them is actually right here. Or hang on. One of them is actually right here at the edge of the burning plants. Okay, great. Um, I will make note of that because I'm out of movement for now. Okay. Are you ending your turn? Yes. All right. Wednesday, your turn. Keep in mind you're currently charmed. Uh, does that mean I can't move or anything? It means you cannot take uh, actions that would damage Narsuka this turn. All right, how far am I from the ceiling? Uh, you are 10 feet from the ceiling. I'm going to go okay. up to the ceiling. Okay. And then, uh, what do I got? Uh, where's my movement? Uh, 30. 30, so I got 10 more, no, 20 more feet. Yep. 
5, 10, 15, 20. Oops. <clears throat> Do I notice anything on the ceiling? Um, aside from more of the light emitting orbs uh, shining down on the stage, um, not of note. And they're connected by wire? No, they're just floating. Okay. They're floating against the ceiling. <clears throat> All right, I'm gonna. <clears throat> I am going to. <clears throat> I'm all. I am also going to. <clears throat> I'm gonna try to create a bonfire on one of the orbs to see what happens. Okay. Do you roll or anything? No, I mean the orb. If the orb has to do anything. It has to make a. Uh, dexterity save of 12. Alright, well, the orb isn't a living creature, so what happens, uh, you create a bonfire, not a barn fire, on this orb, and <laughs> it's, it's lighting gets weird, but it does not destroy the orb. It does okay. not seem flammable. I wonder how we call barn fires. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, is that the end of your turn? Yep. All right. The effects of the song have worn off any longer, John. Oh, is it? Is the fire just sitting there on top of the orb, floating around? As long as you concentrate on it. Okay. All right. Is that the end of your turn? Yep. All right. Narsika's turn. So Narsika is looking down at you, Gimna, and she is not wanting any business to do with you at the moment. So she's going to float ten feet higher <laughs> off the ground. So she's now twenty feet off the ground. And uh, she is going to attempt to spark you. Okay. I'm scared. Are you currently holding your metallic flail? I am. Is she going to summon a piano? You said you am? You I, said, I you, said am. you are? Yes. Okay. All right. All right. That God does succeed. It. And, uh, you take... No... Uh... Let me check my notes here. You take 10 damage of lightning. Good lord. Alright, and... The commotion you're making up on the ceiling distracts Narsika as well. Or at least gets her notice. And seeing you... On the ceiling does not seem like good business to her, so she is going to attempt to spark you as well. Wednesday. Oh shit balls. That's a fifteen. Mine's fifteen. That it's a separate roll. But... Wait, 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 wait. How high is she in the air? She is twenty feet in the air. Twenty feet in the air. I'm thirty feet away, right? Uh One, two, One, two three. You are forty five feet away laterally. All right, uh, A squared plus B squared equals C squared. What's the hypotenuse? <laughs> she, uh... <laughs> oh, I, I, I think she's out of range. Well, does that hit me or does that not hit me? Because it's uh, 15, my armor's 15. <laughs> Hang on, I'm pulling up the calculator. <laughs> so she's 45 feet away and 20 feet in the air. She is about 50 feet away from Calypso. <laughs> I love that we just used the Pythagorean theorem. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. But uh, also Calypso, she's not attacking you. She's attacking Wednesday. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought she was attacking me. Okay. <laughs> we'll see that. You guys are way more dedicated than I am because I just want to use one of the two measurements. <laughs> <laughs> In any case. <laughs> okay, so stop laughing. Wednesday, you take eight points of lightning damage. Well, I, I was asking, does it hit me? Because it's fifteen, and my armor's fifteen. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's yeah. A save. It's, it's its own separate roll. That's a save. No, right. like basically, she just rolls a d twenty and compares that to another to see if she hits. So if I have one point and I take, uh, let's see, eight, uh, I Wait, die, right? You're not comparing it against Wednesday's AC. No, it's a separate roll. Oh, that's weird. Yeah, basically think of it as all having a flat AC on all targets. Uh, well, I'm it's dead. advantage if the opponent has metal stuff on them, though. Interesting. Wait, what? I'm dead. 
That's why I got advantage on Gimna earlier. Because she was holding so her mouth flail. Are you dead or are you just passed out? She just it's, passed out. It says death saves. Okay, yeah, you're not dead yet. You've got three death saves to make, and then you might be dead. Yes. Dying. Yes, which is different than dead. So the scary thing is, she's also on the ceiling. <laughs> oh, does she go curse flat? Uh, it's a slime would, wouldn't it? I don't know, because is it, like, is the sticky uh, passive or active? Does she actively climb, uh, like, hang on to it, or does her body just adhere to it? That's a good question. Um, I think... Mr. You know Vulcan Inventor should know it. Yeah, I think it, I think she should still be stuck on the ceiling, but she's uh, a nondescript mass of slime on the ceiling. A few drips gotcha. coming from. <laughs> she's dripping down. <laughs> I don't know how to reverse the falling sound effect to put her back. <laughs> You're getting ready, and it looks kind of gross. Pull yourself together. Yeah. So you are entering death save territory Wednesday. You look like an egg. <laughs> All right. Anyway, uh, that does end uh, Narsko's turn. Calypso, you're up. All right. So Calypso's gonna do uh, the uh, say. Uh, damn it! I could have just uh, float smoothly. Uh, smoothly. Wednesday, you look like an egg, and so do you, you stupid robot. <laughs> Do a, 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 a vicious mockery again. Okay. Fourteen to save. Okay. Bye, Felicia. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Bye, Felicia. <laughs> Bye, Narsica. Oh, failed. Okay. Finally, I get to roll some da uh, damage against this bitch. Oh, with three whole damage. <laughs> what? Hey, big spender. I mean, you did roll a d4. It's above. It's one of the higher rolls. Oh yeah, there's only one higher. Yeah. All right, okay. and she also has disadvantage on her next crypt attack. Yep, and I think the uh, effective radius or the effective. Uh, anyway. Wait, what's the Let's range see. on this again? Yeah, balls. I was about to say. Uh, 60, 60 feet, feet. So I can't. <laughs> No, so, you can't. You are f about 50 feet away. That's okay, so I move up a little bit closer. No, you <laughs> didn't have to move. You're already 50 feet. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> yeah, your hypotenuse was 50 feet, remember? Yes. Oh, that's right. That's right. Because cool, I pulled cool. up a Pythagorean theorem calculator. <laughs> oh, I didn't know you'd reach the results of that. I, I told you that I told you, you right after. You asked. <laughs> He said, I'm pulling out a calculator, and then he told I you how far him away. Say he pull, I, I heard him say he was pulling out the calculator, but then <laughs> Rainbow started talking, so I didn't hear the uh, uh, conclusion. Oh, my God. <laughs> and uh, so Calypso looks to the crowd. Oh, what did I hurt her feelings? Uh, I could barely understand what you just said, but I think I got it. I said, oh, what did I hurt her feelings? Yeah, I got that. Uh, go ahead and make a performance check. Oh, sweet. I'm enjoying this. Oh, 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 the crowd's <laughs> in the palm of my hand now. <laughs> yep, the crowd loves it. They, they're they cheering for all yep. the action happening on stage, and they throw another less, they throw another potion of healing onto stage. Sweet. I'm going to pull out my lyre and start uh, play, soloing for them while uh, uh, these other turns start occurring. Yeah. Uh, you know what? Uh, make a acrobat. No, make an acrobatics check. An acrobatics check? Oh yeah. shit! Shove that. Yeah, but why did you have to? Uh oh. <laughs> what? What did I do? Um, I might have gotten pegged with that uh, healing because of that sound effect. <laughs> <laughs> what are you uh, talking about? Okay, so plus four, so ten. All right. Uh, you barely manage <laughs> to not get socked in the face with a potion of healing thrown at you. Gotcha. So I catch Instead, it then. Uh, no, you re reactively duck under it, and it splashes on the stage behind you. <laughs> oh, oh, were you God. rolling to see if he drops the potion? To see if he got it successfully, because he was starting to pull out his and whatnot during the commotion. <laughs> I was assuming after I'd catch it. 
But uh, <laughs> you're right. My sound effect totally did trigger Bunsen to make you make that roll. <laughs> you totally did. The first potion was a freebie. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, how far behind me did it land? Uh, it landed. Let's see. Right here. You should try to look it up. I was gonna say, uh, Calypso uses her uh, <laughs> movement, bows graciously for the crowd, and then leans down just a little bit further to uh, slurp a little bit of it off the floor, as much <laughs> as can be like. <laughs> so, so, it, so it did break then. It did break. <laughs> oh damn. Yeah. Um, it's disgusting, but it does act as consuming the potion. Go ahead and roll. <laughs> <laughs> yes. How do you like what you cut your? She more. cut the hell out of her tongue. <laughs> Shards no, of glass on the floor. No, I said it counts as healing. Roll the dice to see how much you heal. Nine plus four. I so wasn't 13. arguing with that. I was just saying I'm surprised she was able to lick the potion off the floor without cutting herself. Uh, oh, you, the, you only bottles. It's a two d four. No, the regular healing potion is just the the two d four. You lap uh, up the potion, but it only heals you for the damage you took while lapping up the potion. Oh, That's all I got. <laughs> no, you roll two d four plus two, then you heal that much. Oh, gotcha. I'm sorry. Where I, I thought I added the other stuff. So uh, here, let me uh, re-roll that. My bad. Two d four plus four. Disgusting though. So eight. <laughs> No, that's six. 2d4 plus four? 2d4 plus two. Oh, gotcha. Okay, six. I'm sorry about that. I uh, don't have the thing pulled up right in front of me, so it was hard to... But I'm on. Right. I'm with you now. Okay, cool. Thanks. Mm -hmm. All right, make sure you're not that healing. Uh, that is pretty disgusting, though. <laughs> and the uh, crowd, and the crowd and seems to respond... In kind to the ground, suddenly goes a little quiet. Like as she stands just... up, she does like a Gene Simmons tongue. The crowd is gives confused. Like yeah, <laughs> the crowd isn't sure how to feel about this. Okay, so uh, note Calypso notes to herself: these guys are definitely not metalheads. <laughs> thank you, just get, thank you, Chev. Mm -hmm. All right, anything else on your turn, Calypso? Uh, nope, that was an eventful turn. I am good. Okay. Gimna, you're up. All right. Gimna <coughs> is going to come over here. Oops, wrong tool. Grab that ja that javelin. Okay. And th let's see. Uh, yeah, I'm going to grab that javelin, and then I'm going to move back over probably about right here. Maybe right here. Okay. And then I'm going to uh, hurl it upwards at her. For, okay. For, let's see. Plus six. There we go. Fifteen to hit. All right. Let me check. All right. That hits. Go ahead. Roll damage. Okay. And then her damage. Uh, oops. Hold on. Actions tab. There we go. 1d6 plus 4. Nice. 9. Okay. And does she fall? I don't know, does she? Let me check with her constitution save. Uh, she does not succeed. <laughs> so she does indeed fall. So she she falls prone on the on the ground. Once once again. <laughs> With this Calypso faces the crowd and starts clapping her hands over her head. Alright, and uh check again. D and D fall damage. One D six points of damage per ten feet fallen, so she <clears throat> takes two D six bludgeoning damage. Yes. She takes 11 points of damage. Yes! Ouch, <laughs> When she fall, does she make this sound? <laughs> <laughs> no. She does she, she does make a shrill shriek, though. And uh, as she's on the ground, her uh, 
the energy that she emits that looks like hair, kind of. Like, it's it's billing behind her like hair, but it's glowing energy exhaust. The uh, energy is becoming less less bright. Uh-oh. Alright. Looks like we got her on the run. <laughs> um, I think that's it for my turn. There's not a lot else I can do. Um, I guess, well... No, I already used my action, so... I can't do that with a bonus action. Alright, yeah, that's it. I don't have anything else. Alright. Wednesday, you're up. Make your death save. So what do I do? Is it like a plus or negative or at the find, or what? You roll a uh, d20. That determines whether or not you okay, pass so or it's fail. The, so there's no plus or negative on this? Uh, Chef? What? What are, we, what are you asking? Death save. How do you do a death save? You just roll a d20. And if it's above 10, you save. It's If it's below 10, you fail. If you roll a 20, you automatically stand back. You automatically gain one hit point and come and wake up. If you roll uh, one, uh, you fail twice. Yeah, if you roll 19. one, it's two, two fails. And uh, it's so worth you, noting that Seinvolk have a uh, negative two modifier to this. So I'm going to okay. say that. So that's a save, right? 19? Yep. Yep. So, so mark it as a success. Uh -huh. <laughs> Chef, what? <laughs> what? You. That was funny. Alright, okay. so that's the end of your turn. Alright, Narsuko's turn. She is going to stand back up. That mark off. And <laughs> she... What? What? <laughs> I don't know what that was, sorry. <laughs> 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 oh, That's the um, noise he made when oh. she stands up and says that her butt hurts. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. <laughs> okay, she stands up. Narska is not doing this. <laughs> uh, she is going to uh, start singing her charming yet again. Everyone roll a wisdom saving throw. Do I have to? You're dead, so no. Okay. Well, you're not dead, uh, you're unconscious. Correction, I'm sorry. <laughs> that was really funny. <laughs> sorry, were we all rolling wisdom, is that what you said? Yes. Wisdom saving throw. Plus... Plus three. Just add the modifier, PJ. I'm, I, dude, I'm holding a baby in one arm, I can't type. It's two more characters. Well, I just clicked the little uh, speedo button. I don't even uh, oh. like. Anyway, you said that was fifteen. Yes. All right. I think the problem is you need to click the dice button and not the speedo button. Uh, well, I do click the uh, dice button. Is there a way to add a modifier when you're using the uh, mouse? Um, uh, in the advanced dice roller, I think. Yeah, you just uh, do that. Uh, the no, that's for rolling dice. multiple dice. Uh, oh, oh, yeah. The, the open up the advanced dice, dice roller. There's advanced roll, lot. and you can roll 1d20 plus blah blah. Oh, bitch, uh, and I'm just going to leave this thing open. It's way better. Oh, nice. Right. <laughs> In any case, Calypso, you succeed, but Gimna, you give in and notice how catchy the song is. <laughs> Gimna starts to dance in the middle of her flaming weeds. <laughs> She's just like, oh yeah, this is the this is the shit. Everyone join in. Come on, <laughs> come into the dance circle. Mm, mm, how does mm. how does the audience react to that? Yeah, <laughs> you know what? Uh, Gimna, make a check. A what? A performance check. Performance. Okay. Uh, plus three. That's six. The performance cheers, but nothing else from what happens. Okie dokie. Gimna, I don't think they like country! <laughs> That's alright, more enough for me. <laughs> alright, in any case. They're dwarfs uh, such hicks. <laughs> having sung that, uh, she t Narzica turns to you, uh, Calypso, and she attempts another spark. 
Oh, um, and she has to roll this one with disadvantage. Oh, you're right. I mean, her uh, charm thing, that, that can't be done with disadvantage since it's a saving throw, but this... Yep, she fails. Miss me again, you clumsy bitch! <laughs> Vicious mockery. All right. Exactly. Uh, <laughs> as, you, as you do that, I'm gonna... That's the end of her turn. As you do that, she backs up a little bit. She does get... She does still have to save from it, but she's starting to back up. She's not liking, liking her situation. All right. So that's so... a wisdom saving throw? Yep, 14. She fails. Okay, I'll re roll uh, D4 psychic damage. Three. That's All a lot right. of psychic damage. <laughs> yeah, if only you yeah. had some spell slots left. Uh, that's just a <laughs> cantrip. It's the only freaking thing I have. No, that's what I'm saying. If only you had some spell <laughs> Yeah, if only I had some spell slots left. Um, so... I am going to uh, come over. Oh, except for Wednesday's on the freaking ceiling, isn't she? Yes. Yep. 70 All feet right. up. Let's see. Can't do anything. Like, my, my actions are so freaking limited. Uh, are they? Yeah, I've got cantrips. I've got movement. Um, I can entertain the crowd some more, but... Uh, Let's see. One, two, three, four, Have five. Have you tried throwing a spear at her and pulling her towards you? <laughs> I don't have spears. <laughs> I think a little um, more outside the box, Calypso. Let's see. I think a little outside the box. I'm on a stage. Oh! Um, You're moving I'm over gonna, there? Huh? moving over there yeah i'm moving over here and i'm gonna uh yell at the crowd uh and say uh are we having fun tonight who wants to see her fall again well she's not in the air at the moment i know okay uh go ahead and make a performance check well i mean technically you don't have to be in the air to fall oh sweet 18 yeah, so eight more is 26 all right the crowd loves it and they throw another lesser healing potion, and you catch it gracefully in your performance to the ground. All right. Uh, well, regular healing potion, because lesser healing potion is not a thing. Gotcha. It does not shatter. Could, <laughs> can I uncork it and attempt to throw it into Wednesday? She is 70 feet above you. You can certainly try yeah. and throw it. My arm is not that good. Uh, is it? All right. Do you know oh. how far uh, the default throwing range on a javelin is? Uh, yeah, six, it's uh, 20 feet, 60 feet, right? Oh. It's like 120 feet, isn't it, Chev? Let me look. Javelin. 3120. 3120? What? 30, oh, 30 slash 120. Yes. Yeah. So, yeah. Gotcha. You can throw things pretty far in this game. Gotcha. Okay. Well, that's uh, that's all I have. So, I'm out. All right, my turn's over. Okay. Uh, Gimna, you're up. So she's on the ground now, just like backing up. Charmed. To... Oh right. So I can't hurt her. I, I do. I I don't have a desire to attack my teammates, though, do I? No. Okay. So I can't do you're anything just, you're then. Just, you're just vibing. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's it then, right? Do you want to do anything? There's nothing I can do. Okay, you're just passing. Well, yeah. <laughs> okay. The charm does wear off by the end of your turn. Wednesday, you're up. Alright. Make your saving throw. Uh -huh. That is a fail. That ends my turn, I guess. 
Yep. So, Narsica. She's, uh, <laughs> after, I assume, uh, describe how you react after you're no longer Gibna. Me? Yes. Oh, uh, I mean, I'm gonna be mad. Uh, She's probably gonna be a little puzzled. And I'm gonna try to cover up my, uh, a slight level of embarrassment by charging at her and taking that on her face. <laughs> well, you can't do that quite yet, but needless to say, you are really not a happy camper. As as Narska looks at you, right? Right. <laughs> All right. So, Narsica, she's feeling pretty cornered right now between the burning plants and and uh, two people eyeing at her. And are the plants gone though? Because if her rage uh, went away during her charm turn, oh yeah, you're right. The plants, plants go now. away too. Yeah, <clears throat> they would. Yeah, your plans go away because you have not you did not take ordeal damage. Yep. So, Narsica, she is uh she's gonna raise up two hands and uh a lot of electrical sparks start flinging out of her hands and you think she's gonna release another one of those uh, electrical attacks at you guys, right? Yeah. And she turns at the crowd and says, And that's all folks <laughs> And then <laughs> a curtain closes on the stage. What? <laughs> Curtains draw to a close on the stage. The audience boos very loudly. The audience is not a fan of this sudden end to this very entertaining battle. Okay. All right. What in the and, hell just uh, happened? All right, and Narsica, she puts her hands on her hips and says, you know, folks, you guys, you really didn't have to start winning, you know? Um, Who says that? Narsica. She's oh, because no we're behind the curtain. curtain. Okay. Yes. I thought she was a curtain between her and us. Never mind. I understand now. No. Uh, you can go ahead and leave combat. <laughs> unless you guys are going to continue to fight her. Okay. Um, I'm going to look I'm gonna look to Gimna. Gimna, should we just kill her? Uh, yeah, I think so. And then no, I no, tap, no, wait. I pat my flail in my hand. Yeah, okay. Uh, well, I mean, you could make this easy for us. And I'll make it easy for you. I'll just stab you in the head instead of making you suffer, all right? So Deal? I take my flail out and I charge her recklessly. <laughs> <laughs> and I pummel her in the face with it. Uh, go ahead and make a athletics check. Athletics check. Athletics yeah. check? Alright, so that's an 11. Mm -hmm. Alright, uh, Narsica manages to float above your charge, unfortunately. Okay. Uh, however, she does not retaliate, and she says, "No, listen, listen. I can, I can uh, help you out. I can give you inf information, right? Yes." Um, yeah. I don't well, recall asking for your help, but I do want you to die. Uh, yeah, you're gonna have to please the dwarf. We're all kind of pissed at you that the, you know, we could have just played a music show, but you had to turn it into this. Big thing. I mean, we didn't uh, choose to fight you. You did. She uh, she d she puts up a, a hand against her mouth as she as she kind of speaks quieter. You know, although they're my they're my minions, they uh, they're a little bloodthirsty sometimes. Uh, yeah. I, I, I'm pretty as, sure as, we as were attacked by more than just your minions, lady. Oh please, you guys, you three were never in any real danger. Uh. That said, excuse you, I am about to die, and I'm going to take you with me. Oh, yes. Oh. About that. Uh, Narsika looks up at the ceiling and notices a pile of slime against the ceiling. <laughs> if I heal your friend, you will uh, forgive me, yes? Uh, it's going to take a little bit more than that. See, we're really here for a book. Uh, do you have any libraries in on site? 
So Gimna is at four hit points, by the way. I'm like, I literally am going to die. <laughs> like she's hurt yeah, really I'm bad. Actually, so I'm going to give you my, you know what? I can't find it, but take my uh, potion of lesser healing. Here you go, Gimna. And I chuck you the bottle. <laughs> okay. And I take it and I pop the cork. <laughs> oh. Thank you, Calypso. And that's, how, what is it? 1d4? 2d4 plus, plus 2. That's the regular healing. I gave him the lesser healing that was thrown to me last. No, it's just regular potion of healing. Oh, I got so confused that because there is no lesser potion of healing. Oh, okay, perfect. I, okay. When I said that, I just meant the smallest de denomination of healing. Gotcha. All right. Well, I feel a little better now, <laughs> but I'm still hurting pretty bad. In the meantime, Narcia is going to float up to the top of the stage, and she's going to administer a potion of greater healing to Wednesday. All right, Gimna is going to eye her menacingly while she does so. <clears throat> Do I roll or does she roll? Uh, I'll roll. It's 44 plus <clears throat> 4. Uh, <laughs> well, I typed this all wrong. <laughs> typed only one L. All right. Oh, nice roll. Wednesday, you heal 19 health. Oh, nice. Well done. So you're you're alive again. And then you fall off the ceiling. <laughs> no, uh, you are quite firmly on the ceiling. <laughs> How do I And then you start falling again? How do you want? <laughs> oh I see apply changes. Alright. I'm gonna start walking uh down the ceiling the way I came up. Well, you could have just let me play for them. I'm a trained bard, you see, and I'm going to show my uh, certificate of bardship to uh, Narcissa. <laughs> uh, Narcissa is not very impressed, and she kind of looks at it, and she's like, she looks away, and she goes, ah, yes, that is very interesting. Well, thank you. So, <laughs> like I was saying, um, Gimna here has a little bit of an axe to grind against this giant orc guy. I forget his name. And then we saw the librarian, and she asked, to get, get, asked us to get all these ancient books, and she's going to help us kill the orc guy with these books. And um, so that is what we're searching for. So uh, can you point us to your library? Uh, so Narsika, she thinks from, like, big scary orc guy. Oh, you mean Wallstar. Yeah, yeah, Lone Star. Oh, I'm glad you said the name because all I could all I could remember was Voldemort. It's Volstar. <laughs> you said North Star. <laughs> <laughs> what did you say, PJ? You said like North Star. Lone, yeah, I said Lone Star. Volstar. <laughs> Lone Star, Texas Ranger. Lone Star. <laughs> anyway, uh, she corrects you. And she says, "Oh, you mean Volstar? Yeah, yeah. Uh, that guy." Um. I haven't seen him lately. Oh, is he a regular that... patron of yours? Hmm. Yeah, so about that. Uh, so, here's the thing. These books. You're looking for Cassidy's books, then, right? Uh, her name was Jade. No, I mean, the, the author of these books. They're written by, by my boss, Cassidy. Uh, yeah, I guess so. She didn't tell us author or copyright information. Hmm. I don't even think I could find him on a Dewey Decimal System. She uh, really told us almost nothing about him. A Dewey Decimal what? Wow, dude. <laughs> <laughs> You're no, a young man. I know what the Dewey Decimal System is. Oh. <laughs> this, is this is fantasy land where no one knows what Dewey Decimal System is. Yeah, but isn't there a library? Uh, so, uh, Narcica goes on to explain. Yeah, so these were written by Cassidy uh, a few years ago. And I was actually entrusted with one of the volumes of the originals. Oh, okay, uh, tr we'll trade us the volume, and in return... I'll, I'll hold her down, you grab you. it off her, Calypso. L wait, yeah. I, don't, I don't have it on me. It's behind me. Uh, let's, hang on. I'm going to... 
changed maps again. Alright. Give me just a moment. I have to reveal some stuff on the other map. Oops. Hang on just a second. Are you thinking outside the bun? <laughs> Sin. And just a sec. Um, da, 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 da. What's this thing? Da, 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 da. <laughs> I was hoping it would have. <laughs> <laughs> That's Narciss Narsica in about 10 seconds. <laughs> Alright, so... <laughs> sorry, it was taking me a moment. I had to... Uh, had to... Uh, find the icon I used for Narsica again, because it didn't save it for some reason. Uh, yeah, I hate when that happens. Yeah, so... Narsica, she says, Hang on, hang on, I don't have the book behind me. And she points behind her, and you see, you see uh, through a bit of another curtain similar to the one that you entered through here. I'm going to try to grapple her and hold her arms behind her back and push her through the curtain. She's like, also still ten feet in the air. I uh, Then, if that's the case, I'm going to say, go ahead and lead the way. <laughs> okay. And uh, so Narsika, she turns around and she's on the curtain. Do you I'm follow. Yep, I'm going to follow as well. So, Narka, you're such a gorgeous lady. Maybe we could uh, go make out after this. <laughs> Do you actually say that? Yes. Yes, Wendy says that. <laughs> okay. Hey, uh, oh, Wednesday, generally you lead up to that. You don't start with, now, let's go. Uh... When I said that this was Narsica in 10 seconds, I did not imagine that was the reason why. <laughs> no, 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 no. no. <laughs> uh, so uh, Narsica, she turns, and gives you, a and she says, "No, I don't technically have lips, right?" That's oh, okay. It'll be a, a learning experience for us both. Uh, she, you ever been with a slime girl? <laughs> You're not missing much. <laughs> She turns around and says, anyway, so you guys are currently in what looks to be a rather comfortable living room, uh, rather comfortable bedroom, has a nice bed, red carpet, uh, plenty of drawers, and and uh, a mirror on the wall. It's actually a very nicely adorned mirror. Man, for being a robot, you keep some nice rooms. I mean, don't you sleep pretty much standing up while your uh, minions oil you back up? Listen, it's about the act. <laughs> hey, is that Dragon Years? Dragon? Oh, yeah, Charlie. Uh, yeah. Uh, yes and no. It's a long story. <laughs> anyway, uh, she floats over to a... to a small bookcase, and she pulls out a rather large-looking... looking book, similar to one that Jade showed you earlier. She turns around. Oh, she uh, she turns around and hands it to you, Calypso. Excellent. After Calypso right. takes the book, the, while we've been walking in here, I pulled the rope out of my pack, and I formed a little uh, lasso on the end of it, and I throw it up and try to catch her foot and yank her down. <laughs> okay, make a athletics check. <clears throat> Plus, uh, where is it? I'm on the wrong page. There we go. Ah, hold on. I didn't do the slash roll part. There. Yes. <laughs> oh, bitch. Oh <laughs> Get your skinny ass down here. And she goes, Ugh! and she yanks, yanks her ass out of the sky. So, uh, as she was handing clips of the book, she was about to say, so about this Cassidy Kara, <laughs> and she is not way way down on the ground. As, as she yeah. pull, as I pull her down, I then try to grapple her and hold her arms behind her back. Okay, 
uh, make a gra grapple check. Okay. Plus, and it's it's athletics for me, right? Yeah. Yep. Ten. And then you can test Oof. it with <laughs> athletics, or. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah. So I, I've got her arms held behind her back. I even despite the fact that I'm way shorter than her, <laughs> and I'm just holding her her wrists together basically so she can't move, so I can like guide her where I want her to go. All right. Now mm -hmm. you're gonna tell us everything you know about this book before I kill you. <laughs> I like the way you ended that sentence. Before I kill you. <laughs> Uh, and Calypso's gonna sit on a bed, cross her legs, uh, set the book down beside her, and just look intently into uh, um, Narcissa's eyes. Right, and the bed would be over here. Okay. Look intently into Narcissa's eyes and say, "Well, you better do what she says." Um, here, let me pull out a uh, pad and uh, some paper. Give me just one second. All right, so are you looking at the book in your hands right now? No, no, I've got it uh, set to the side here. Okay. Um, and it looks like I don't have any pad uh, or paper in my inventory. Are there any, like, were, were there any in the shelves or anything like that? Yeah, you could, you could find uh, a p paper and quill. For you. Okay. So then, yeah, I'm going to grab a paper and quill and then sit down as described. Okay. All right, begin. And um, yeah, I, I would uh, I would recommend answering honestly. She uh, she has a tendency to break arms even when they're made out of steel. And I push her arms upwards slightly, so it's a little painful. She does not seem to react with the pain you intended, but she does. She is equally restricted, and she says, "Listen, I was going to tell you. Calm down. You guys were never in any real danger here." You know you've. How are we supposed? How are we supposed to know that? Uh, I mean, your your bad. pet dragon singed my hair, and then you elect half electrocuted poor Gimna over yeah, there. Yeah, all the evidence and is to the contrary. I'm still hurting. I still don't feel feel great. And you put a uh, poor slime girl, poor Wednesday, over there in a coma, and now she's uh you know smoking her cigar in a tense little puddle. Poor thing. So. Yeah, uh, we Wednesday, don't. Believe... What are you actually up to at the moment? I'm just sitting over there smoking. All right. Listen, I mean, darling. Her poor what's bubbles good? are falling out. What's a good show without a little tension? Well, I mean, you're feeling tension right now. How do you like it? Oh, believe me, darling. I'm definitely feeling some tension through. <laughs> but anyway, uh, let's not uh, distract ourselves. All right. What do you know about this book? All right, so listen. This was written by by uh, Cassidy, and she she unearthed me and reactivated me. See, I was I used to be built to uh, entertain the masses way back in ancient times, and uh, so she found me while she was doing research in ancient magic stuff, and uh, she ordered me to be one of her generals. And Times is right. Your music is worse than an oldie station. She kind of... If she had very functioning uh, face muscle, she would probably be giving you be giving you an unamused look right now. <laughs> <laughs> and then she continues. <clears throat> anyway, she gave me some magic and told me to do her bidding. And technically I have been. So I get bored as she's explained this and I want to look through the shelves. Books. Okay. Uh, just go ahead and look through the books. Yeah, let, let, let's uh, get to whatever he finds or doesn't find later. I want to hear the rest of the story yeah. without interruption. All right. So she continues. So I haven't really been doing what she's been telling me to do. Listen, I was built to perform, not to actually fight. <laughs> I've well, that's apparent. I... Uh... <laughs> 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 anyway, listen, I've technically been protecting this book, but I'm not about to die over it. Well, that's a good decision. Um, what uh, do you, Can you tell me about what's written in the book? I mean, we don't really care how you got it. Well, she, <laughs> she gave it to me. I don't know how to answer that question, darling. 
I, and I said we didn't I care knee how you her got in it. the I it. knee her behind her knee to bring her down to her knees from standing position. Yeah, she she does enter kneeling position. Okay. Now answer his question or her question. What question was that? Uh, what, you know tell anything us, uh, about, about what is written book, in the yeah. book. We don't care how oh. you got it. Uh, listen, I've tried to make sense of it. I, don't know. I wasn't... I may be made of magic, darling, but I'm not made for magic. Okay. Something about conjuration stuff. Okay, well, um... How about you, you stop know? calling my friend darling, and I <clears throat> start giving us some answers. And I So I hear conjuration, and I walk up to her and say, uh, what kind of conjuration? Heck if I know. Stuff about, uh, I don't know, proper form etiquette. I, I point to my cigar and go, this kind of conjuration? Uh, she eyes the cigar and she goes, uh, dear, could you put that out before you set fire to my carpet? I would no. Really... Right, just be careful of that, okay, dear? dear. Okay, I'm going to look up to um, Gimna. And down with the... to Gimna? <laughs> Oh, Fuck yeah. you, Munson. <laughs> Very good. I'm going to look down to Gimna. And uh, with the sweetest of smiles, batting the eyelashes, I'm going to pull a uh, dagger slowly out of my sheath and uh, say, do we have any further use for her? Not that I'm aware of. I, I, I look at her again and go, is this the kind of conjuration you're talking about? Uh. Can- so Narsha goes, wait, 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 wait. Don't you want to hear the generals they mentioned? The generals? Uh, he... Okay, uh, you bought yourself some more time. I'm going to sit down on the bed and uh, pick up my pad and pen. Gina tightens her now, grip. You were saying generals? <laughs> yeah, so, uh, see, Cassidy, she amassed some general to uh, be in her... I don't know, some kind of army? Try to take over Tarmadil. We've just been waiting on her word to go. Uh, okay, so is Cassidy dead, or is she still around? I was under the assumption this whole time that she was gone. No, that's as far as I'm aware, darling. She's very much alive. I just haven't heard from her lately. Just shove her a little bit for saying darling again. But oh. you said ancient times. She's an ancient being? No, I'm from ancient times. She oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. We got one more thing to deal with, Calypso. Where All right. is our friend Lungra? Oh, yeah. You know, I for- I'm embarrassed to say I forgot about her. Well, she but... isn't a very memorable presence at the, as of late. Uh, yeah, that's... that's... <laughs> Wow. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Uh, uh, seeing the uh, raised metal eyebrows on uh, Narcissa, I say, oh, she's kind of shy. She doesn't say much. Yeah, uh, she just kind of hangs out in the background. But do you yeah. know where she is? Or where we could find her? Um, I was actually about to ask you through that. I, I know four of you entered, but I only see three of you now. Okay. Um, I near in the back. I look at it and go, do you have any of these books on this uh, conjuration? I'm not being Just gentle about it either, so if I need to roll for damage or something. No, uh, it, it's doing its job. <laughs> uh, she says, not beyond the one I've been protecting, darling. All right, so... I push up book. one of her arms until I hear snapping sounds. You push it up very far, but you do not hear any snap. Does it feel like it's kind of come loose or anything? No, but she is definitely sounding restrained, like, ah, ah. She's not invincible, is she? No, but she is a robot. For how much damage? Well, yeah, I'm trying to pull her robot arm out of its robot socket. (laughs) With leverage. (laughs) In any case, uh, what else are you guys doing? Um, I guess that's so, enough. okay, so Cassidy's supposed to be coming back, and she has a bunch of generals. Is Volstark one of her generals? Yes. Okay, can you tell us of any other generals that we might know around these parts? Mm, you might say I'm a little self-absorbed. <laughs> uh, I'd say you're very self-absorbed and not very helpful. 
And I'm going to start pulling the dragger, uh, dagger out again. Mm, she seems a little worried. Like <laughs> She does seem to value her, her uh, life, for sure. And she says, listen, I... I wasn't a very good general, you see. I never went to any of the meetings. I've I've always been here performing to my minions. I swear. You guys still there? I'm here. Okay. I thought maybe I lost the internet because it just went quiet. Yeah. <laughs> I, I you just know. heard that that this general has been bad at her job and hasn't been going. Oh, oh yeah, my my uh, thing died again. Uh, it happens a lot. It's like every hour it'll drop off the channel and I have to pick pick back up. But yeah, I uh, after she said I didn't attend very many of the meetings. Um, I look to Gimna and I say. Gimna, I'm a bit conflicted about this. I mean, she did surrender, and she's been very polite since our performance ended. But I'm also kind of irritated that she almost killed you and Wednesday during the performance and caused me a lot of harm. Should I take her soul? I, you know, I don't, don't, don't want to leave this one behind to live, put someone else through this bullshit. Okay, and with, uh, without another word... Uh, Calypso, Calypso's going to lunge with her dagger targeted right, uh, right at the robot's eye. Okay. Uh, I don't know if I have to roll for that because she's a stationary target. Yeah, I'd still like you to roll. I'm going to grapple right. him before he does it. Her. Her. And while that's, that's happening, like I'm going to, to um, raise my arm up around her neck because she's on her knees in front of me and try and rip her, like, twist her robot head uh, as far as I can twist it. Okay, so let's go through this one action at a time. First off, does Wednesday succeed at intercepting Calypso? Well, Wednesday was trying to grapple Narsica. No, no you. Calypso. Oh. Yeah, Calypso. Oh. Uh, yeah, go ahead and make the grapple check. And I have advantage, right? And, uh, let's see. Yes. Where is grapple at? Uh, it's just an athletics check. It's just check. an athletics check, yeah. Alright. Let me dice that. Oops. And you get to roll twice because you have advantage. Okay, so that would be a 13. All right, uh, yeah, I'm very confused by what I just saw. 14 it's because he rolled 2d20 plus his modifier when it should have just been 2d20 separate rolls. Oh, okay. okay. I, thought, I thought I was hitting 2 would just do advantage. No. That's okay. Together. So what's the right. number that I'm trying to beat? Uh, you have to beat 13 with an acrobatics or acrobatics check. Okay, I'm going to roll acrobatics. Uh, I think I have a higher... Yeah, I definitely have a higher acrobatics. So... Um, 1d20. Roll. 15. Sweet. You've, you've okay, failed so to I, Calypso. Okay, so she rushes... Uh, she sees uh, uh, Wednesday dive out in front of her, and she's very uh, sensitive to Wednesday's current condition she knows he's just uh, she's been within an inch of her life so she daintily just hops over her to avoid touching her and damaging her further okay and then, so then do i attack uh do i attack uh, uh narcissa with advantage narcissa yeah um, narcissa. she's grappled so yes yes so go yeah. ahead and make the attack roll okay let me uh check my Dagger damage, uh, or my dagger uh, D, uh, DC, so plus four. So, oh, wait a second, I can just do, no, I need to do, uh, do it like that, because we saw what happened to Rainbow. That oh, is a natural 20. Natty 20, yep. All right, go ahead, roll damage. All right, so damage on the dagger is 1d4 plus two, so it's going to be 2d4 plus two. Right? Five. <laughs> okay. 
All right. So she takes five points of stab of stabbing or piercing damage. Yep. All right. And uh, Gimna, what were you doing? Well, no, so now that that's happened, I'm still gonna push up on her arm. Like you know how like if you have someone's arm is behind their back and you push start to push the arm upward, the leverage will break their arm. So at some point it should either break something or I should or be so strong I can't push it anymore or something. So did, let me ask you, did the dagger go through her like the little lens of her eye or did it uh graze off of her forehead and leave a scratch uh in the metal there? What happened? It did leave a scratch above above her left eye. I say, okay. hey guys, hey girls, maybe she, maybe she can join us and uh, fight alongside us. And uh, as, use the next arm. As you're raising, Chef, are you speaking yeah. right now? Yeah. yeah oh, I just I was, I was explaining I was what I was doing. You. Okay. Yeah, I was gonna get to you. People kept talking. Sorry. Um, go ahead, and make it an athletics check. Fourteen. All right. You're lifting her arm with all your might, and although she is saying "ow, ow, 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 ow," uh, her <laughs> arm does not rip off, unfortunately. Okay. Yeah. Do I hear it, it break or anything, or snap, or any circo servos struggling, or what? You do not hear any such sounds. She does. <laughs> after Wednesday said that, though, she does say, "Yeah, I can help you. I can help you." Uh, and Calypso's, uh, like, not even, uh, being, uh, princessy anymore. How? How can you help us? Well, you guys have clearly no idea what you're going up against. With I can help. How? I, I, I don't know. Information. I plant, my, all... I plant my foot in her back and knock her onto her stomach while holding her hands, her arms still back behind her. So she's now uh, prone on her stomach. Um, you hear uh, robotic sobbing, and she says, "Please, I never, I never killed anyone. I never wanted to do this. She forced me to." You forced you? You just said uh, you were fulfilling your duty, sorta, because you're not following what you were told to do, but you well, weren't told to not to. Calypso's going to throw another dagger strike at the base of the uh, what would be the equivalent of the robot skull. Okay. Uh, she, as you do that, she says, I, I was just doing enough of a job so she would destroy me. Please. I look at Calypso. Gluna looks up at Calypso to gauge her reaction. Um, and Calypso, uh, Calypso's in a rage. She's just got a bloodlust right now. <laughs> Uh, go ahead and make your attack roll. That was a critical damage roll. Oh, yep. Sorry about that. Uh, let's see. Two. So, damn it. I have to do these one at a time. So, let's see. Rolling with advantage. So, 16 or 13. So, I'll take the 16. Okay. And then go ahead and roll damage. 1d4 plus 2. Five. All right. All right. That makes another another scratch. <laughs> another in... ding at the base of her skull. Yeah. Well, she's facing down on the ground right now, so it's actually on the back of her skull. Yeah. That. Uh. That's what I said. Like the back base of her yeah. skull. Okay. You probably thought I said the face of her skull. Well, I didn't <laughs> know what you meant by base of skull. I <clears throat> but. Uh, um. Right, uh, Wednesday sighs and goes, are you guys quite done playing around? She's she's very hard to kill. Holy smokes. Uh, the uh, the magic exhaust is still getting dimmer. But she is pleading for her life at the moment. You're not, other than dragon food, can you see any use for her? No, but she claims she hasn't killed anyone. Uh, can I do an insight check to see if she's lying? Yeah, go for it. Anyone else also want to make an insight check? Sure, I'll, I'll help him out with that. 
Um, my insight is 1d20 plus... 17. Yeah, he can probably pull that off by himself then, but just for purpose of yeah. following through with helping him. Let's see. Wednesday, are you going to make an insight check? No. 21. Okay. So, yeah, you guys definitely get the feeling that she is actually telling the truth here. She said it with such a quiver that she doesn't seem like she's actually fighting. She actually meant it when she said that. Given a size, annoyed, and then drops her arms onto the floor and steps away. She, uh, she breathed a robotic sigh of relief. I help her up. Around. Thank you, dear. Well, we're letting you go on one condition. You don't put anyone else through this these stupid games of yours. Gimna, that's the one condition? How does that help us? It doesn't. Well, how about you pick a one condition that helps us out? <laughs> well, a after you say that, as you guys are in condition, she does go ahead and attempt to go past you, Gimna, and she says, All right, allow me to, allow me to fix this. Please do. All right. Do you allow her to pass you? Yeah. No, no, hold uh, her up, hold her up. I, I make her push past me, though, and then I glare at her as she pushes me out of the way. Alright. Stop she, her! Uh, she, she attempts to, like, kind of swat, slide past you. She doesn't want to... <laughs> she doesn't want to inflict any physical on you. <laughs> Wait a second, I have a few more conditions! Alright, um... You're free to follow, but she does go on to stage. I lean out and, the door. Alright, she minions over... have to make us breakfast! I'm going to follow and uh, see what she does. All right. Over the sound of the curtain raising, or curtain is reopening, and the crowd starts cheering again, seeing seeing uh, people on the stage again. She says, all right, everyone, that's a wrap. <laughs> and she claps her hands two times, and in a huge puff of full mist that takes up almost the entire room, she suddenly hear everything go quiet. I, I look at her and go, can you teach me how to summon the eyeball thing? The eyeballs and, that were following us. And I'm going to take one of the daggers in my hand, and I'm not going to throw it uh, like at her to hit her, but just throw it in her direction. Your minions were supposed to make us breakfast! <laughs> <laughs> what a storm off. Come on, Cal <laughs> come on, Calypso. Let's get out of here. I what? will have my sleep. I am this? so tired. I have had enough, and they're not even going to make me breakfast. Come on, Calypso. Calm down. What does? Come on, what Wednesday. What? I asked her a question. Uh, Calypso's going to storm into uh, one of the rooms, rip the covers off of one of the beds, and flop down on it. <laughs> There's only one bed in this room. Uh, she was going to say something as you passed. But after, after having seen you march past, she just kind of watches that for a moment, and she says to the other two of you, Uh, darlings, if you would like, you can rest here if you'd like. No danger said, anymore. I said, uh, can you teach me how to summon the eyeball thing that you did and followed us around? Uh, what if I could, dear? But, uh, that was magic specifically given to me. It's not the kind of thing I can share. Okay. And I'm gonna go in the room. All right. Uh, there is still only one bed in there. She was saying that uh, there are there are beds that you pass by on the way to the stage. Gina doesn't I say, oh, use, doesn't oh, need to sleep in a bed anyway. She's gonna sleep in the corner of the room. Okay. I say, well, take us to the beds. That will take me to the bed. All right. As uh, she goes. Don't you ahead. sleep in a bucket anyway? That's a good. That's a good point. <laughs> I mean, I can always sleep in a bed, can I? Yeah, you can. You just might make a bit of a mess. <laughs> well, it's not my bed, so... Yes, yeah, sir. She doesn't seem to care that much about the beds anyway. In regards to, like, slime getting all... Anyway, uh, she does go ahead and lead you to a bed. She even tucks you in nicely. <laughs> <laughs> that is adorable. Cute little All right. robot. So are we going to take a long rest then? 
Oh, absolutely. Like, everything about Calypso is depleted right now. Yeah, same with, <laughs> same with Gimna. I can't even rage anymore. Yeah, I can't. You're all, all matted out. <laughs> oh, holy shit. Like, I can't cast a single spell that's not a cantrip. Like, it's, uh... The, the, the whole fight was kind of maddening because... After a while, I got to a point where the only thing I could do from a distance to uh, do any damage was uh, Vicious Mockery. Oh, before I go to sleep, though, I want to go back out onto the stage, and I want to search for all my javelins. Okay. Yeah, you can. You go ahead and you reclaim all your javelins, except one. One of them is currently embedded in the wall uh, over here, up in, up in the ceiling, about 40 feet. Hey, Wednesday. I'm in bed. You can probably make a note of it, though. I'm gonna. Gimna gets you out of bed. <laughs> oh my Wednesday, gosh. before you go to sleep, I need your help. Out uh, in the morning. I need I your help right now. I Come on, twenty minute adventure. <laughs> I go back to sleep. Wednesday, <laughs> she reaches in and grabs your goopy face. <laughs> I go back to sleep. Wednesday. Meanwhile. Meanwhile, Narzuka has entered some sort of sleep mode, uh, sitting in the corner of her bedroom. All right. Um, what made? Uh, can you tell me what made Narzuka fly? Uh, it appeared to be some sort of magic, as far as you could tell. <sighs> Gimna walks over and she taps Narzuka. Really she, hard. Uh, suddenly. She suddenly reactivates the uh, magic exhaust, suddenly reappearing. Uh, brighter than before, but not at full brightness. And she stands at attention. Yeah. I have yes. one final favor before I go to sleep. Can yes. you fly up there and get my javelin out of the wall? Ah, yes, javelins. You were a nice shot, by the way. Thank you. All right, she goes over. She goes back out to the stage. She floats up, and she retrieves the javelin, and she floats back down to your level and gives it back to you. Awesome. I thank you kindly, and then she goes to sleep in the corner of the room, across from right. her. Okay. Sweet. So All everyone's right. attempting to take a long rest. Yep. Yes. All right. Hours passed. You all successfully complete your long rest. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Giving you guys a little tension from when I started saying hours fast. All right, I can rage again. Oh, oh, I feel much better. Oh, me too. I hope I wasn't getting cranky. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you were. In fact, Narsica, uh, she, she... I'm never cranky. Up. Uh, Narsica no, of course you're not, Grandma. And she does say right after you said that clip, so, oh, uh, you definitely were quite frankly dark. I wake up and I join them. Me? Never. I lock eyes with, uh, Narciss 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 Narco. <laughs> it's not I, that hard. And I glare yeah. at her again for saying, right. darling. <laughs> Alright, Chef, I need, can you repeat after me, okay? After me. Uh, okay. Say, say Jessica. Jessica. Narcissist. Narcissist. Narcica. Narco. God damn it. <laughs> it's like the cool whip bit from Family Guy. That's what I'm saying. Whip. Cool whip. Well. I walk in and say, oh, good morning, Narco. It's Narsica. Also, good morning, dear. Nabisco. Well. Well. We have Nabisco. a book. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, how about you summon a few of those little minions, and uh, do you have any of that mutton or beer that they were uh, eating last night? I slap Calypso upside the head and, and like, what are you thinking? We're not eating their food. Of course we're eating their food. Why would we? It's probably poison. No, probably, I, probably I, no. It puts us into another little trance and we go on some other stupid adventure with her. 
<laughs> she uh she cuts you off. No, I, I assure you. Put up in the in the tavern room. That's all. Uh, thank you, but I have rations. I came prepared, and I glare at Calypso. Hey, I ate some in the tavern brawl, and it was delicious. It's your loss. You did? Uh, yeah, I ate a little bit. I mean, you almost couldn't avoid it with uh, someone catapulting turkeys and uh, hams all over the place. You ate food from that disgusting goblin dining room? But the goblins are just misunderstood. I mean, uh, these weren't even really goblins. They were cosmic Given that Gimna tries to hold back some throw up. <laughs> Uh, Calypso, make just make a flat d20 check. Okay, that's not too bad. As you recall, it, the food was definitely edible and actually quite good. Yeah, yeah. Gimna yeah. walks away and is going to head down these stairs or up the right, stairs. Those, are, those stairs are going up and they go a long way. They seem you you suppose that they must leave the dungeon. That's what I figured. Uh, Marco, where does those stairs go that uh, our dwarf friend went? Oh, I, uh, I don't even stop to wait for them. I just keep going until I make it outside. Alright. Uh, Narsica says, oh, those are the exit stairs. You, they um, leave the dungeon. Can you have one of your little to-go, uh, or one of your little minion guys uh, fetch me a to-go box? I'll take a turkey leg and uh, <laughs> a tanker to beer would be perfect. <sighs> Uh, I'll, I'll see what I can do. And she exits the stairs, starts going back towards the tavern. You know, Wednesday, you probably should have ordered something. After almost killing her and letting her live, I'll bet we have an excellent line of credit here. Well, I'm good for now, but, uh, you know, she keeps on calling this place a dungeon. You think there's uh, something kinky going around in this place? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there was a giant sign outside. <laughs> Dungeon this way. <laughs> yeah, but then we got inside and it was pretty swanky. I'll yeah. just put it this way. I'll bet you our friend Narcessa has uh, a lot of Narcica. interesting... Whatever. <laughs> I'll bet our friend Nabisco has a lot of interesting attachments. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Game over. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everybody, we're out. <laughs> thank, thank you, everyone, for tuning into the final episode. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, do you actually wait around for Narsuka to come back? Yeah, I give, I give her five minutes. All right. Uh, she returns, and she is holding just a bag full of stuff as well as a barrel. <gasps> Woo! All right. Um, and so, is the barrel just full of beer? Yes. How big is the barrel? Barrel sized. I don't know how to answer, to answer how to answer the question. So, like <laughs> up in the weight. Like a big uh, cask how heavy of ale. Is it? All right. It looks like standard drums or like standard barrels. They so like hold way like too big for her to carry. Uh, I mean, she's carrying it, like, with one arm. Uh, well, that's because she's a giant, uh, hydraulically powered robot. <laughs> you also have multiple sets of hands here. Yeah, I do. Um, <laughs> yeah, I can't, uh, can't wait to see given the look on Gimna's face and you two come up hauling a cask that takes two people to carry. <laughs> yeah, and a, a bag full of what you <laughs> It's Wednesday. Do you want to have a party in that cave? Uh, sure, I'll help you carry that, that, that cask, whatever it is. Awesome. All right, let's uh, split the meat up. I'll carry half of it in my pack. You can carry or half of it in your pack, and then we'll uh, carry up the cask. All right. And, and as we leave, I, I look at Marco, and I go, remember, I always say yes to drugs. Uh, <laughs> you did, darling. <laughs> <laughs> Gimna, from a distance, you feel a twinge of hatred for a particular reason. <laughs> <laughs> what are we adding to our bags? Uh, um, various meats, breads. Just put in various meats? Sure. 
It would equal uh, around five rations each. Okay. So you each can add five rations. Uh, no, six rations. You guys can add six rations to your to your inventories. Do I make it to the top? Am I outside? Yes. Uh, when you reach the top of the stairs, um, you hit what appears to be a surface just at the very top of the stairs. You push out on the surface, uh, assuming to be some sort of door, and it out opens the path along which you, you guys approach the the floating sign outside the front door. Although the sign is no longer there. But uh, you push out what appeared to be a false door beside the mountain. Okay. I push it out and then I, I come outside and, and what time of day is it? Uh, it's about around 10 a.m. You guys slept through the night. Oh. I'm going to take a deep breath of fresh air and then find a good slab of rock to sit on while I wait for these slow pokes. Okay. Just died over here. I'm in the middle of a big rainstorm. Oh. What? So, um, yeah. I can use my uh, phone service, but that's about it. Right, you want to uh, call here? Yeah, do you want to call it here for tonight? Yeah, that's not a bad idea. We found okay. a good stop. We're making it out of the uh, uh, dungeon. We just have to note that... Uh, uh, Wednesday and I appear next to Gimna carrying a big old cask of beer as Gimna looks at us incredulously and thirstily. <laughs> Alright, in that case, uh, thank you everyone for tuning in to episode 9 of Tones and Toils. Goodbye! And, uh, great episode Goodbye. to get Goodbye! Goodbye!